Just two days after its official release, the incredible folks over at PS3Exploit.com have already created a hybrid firmware and PS3 homebrew enabler for version 4.88 of the official software. In this video, I'll teach you how to install it on any model of the PlayStation 3, fat, slim, or super slim, and we're starting now. Obvious though it may seem, the first step in the process is to make sure you're actually on official firmware version 4.88 before you try to apply a mod for 4.88. Go to settings, go to system settings, scroll down to the bottom, scroll up one, and go to system information. This PlayStation 3 Super Slim is indeed on 4.88, so we can proceed forward. Press circle to go back and you can leave your PS3 right there. To get PS3 hand working, you'll need a hybrid firmware installed on your console. Go to the ps3exploit.com website listed in the description below. You'll find the most recent version of the hybrid firmware right on the home page. It typically takes you over to PSX Place, where you can download the hybrid firmware in the most recent update. On the PSX Place website, scroll down on the page until you see the list of download links. In this case, I'm going to grab the download from the mega.nz website shown here. While it's probably easiest to just link directly to mega.nz, here's the deal. This hybrid firmware gets updated from time to time, and going straight from PS3 exploit through the process will get you the most up-to-date hybrid firmware file. Insert a FAT32 formatted USB drive into your computer. Now unzip the hybrid firmware file that you just downloaded and delete the zip file. Go into that folder you just unzipped, and inside that folder, right-click and copy the PS3 folder. Go to your USB drive, in this case it's the drive name subscribe. Then paste that folder right on the root of your USB drive. The next step is optional, but highly recommended. I'd recommend grabbing the Multiman Content Manager from Brewology. It's linked in the description below. Scroll down to the download section and click download under Multiman Base. In the downloads folder, grab the package file for Multiman and copy it. Go back to your USB drive and you can just paste this one right on the root of the USB drive. Now you're done with your PC. You can close out File Explorer, safely eject your USB drive, and put it into the rightmost slot on your PlayStation 3. Make sure your PlayStation 3 is connected to the internet at this point moving forward. On your console, navigate up until you get to System Software Update, and then select System Update with the X button. From here, you'll want to tell it that you want to update by Storage Media, so scroll down, select Update by Storage Media, and select it with X. You'll get a message that you have hybrid firmware available to install. Select OK with X to begin the install process. In the interest of respecting your time, because I'm sure you know how to run a basic system software update on a PlayStation 3, this works exactly like every other PlayStation 3 system software update. Start the installer. The system restarts and then completes the install process. And when your system restarts, you'll be on hybrid firmware version 4.88. To get HEN installed on your system, you'll need to use the internet browser. Click on the browser with the X button to launch it. There are some key settings you need to check in order to make sure the exploit has the best chance for success. Press the triangle button and go up to tools. In the list of settings, come down to confirm browser close. Press X and select off and press X. Press triangle again, go up to tools. And in the list of options, select home page. Scroll down to use blank page, select it with X. Scroll down to okay, select with X. Press the triangle button, go up to tools. Come down to delete cookies, select it with X, select yes and X. Triangle, tools, then scroll down in the list to delete search history, X and yes. Triangle, tools, scroll down to delete cache, select yes. Triangle, tools, this time scroll down to delete authentication information, yes and X. Now that your browser is squeaky clean, you can navigate to ps3exploit.com. Press the Start button and type in ps3exploit.com using the on-screen keyboard. Then press the Start button to go to the site. Once you're on the site on your PlayStation 3, it makes a lot of sense to bookmark this site because you'll be using it again in the future. Press the Select button to access your bookmarks, select Add to Bookmark with X, and then press X to save your bookmark. To get HEN up and running on your console, navigate to the listing on the top left corner called PS3 HEN, select it with the arrow by pressing X. Then come down to the Installer Enabler and select it with X. A small one megabyte file will be downloaded to your system to enable the, well, the enabler. Press the Circle button and you'll be at the HEN Initialization page. Look around the middle of the screen and you'll see a button there that says Initialize HEN Installer. Navigate to it with the pointer and then select it with the X button. 
Let the initialization process do its thing and be aware that it may fail the initialization process the first time you try. If it does that, that's no problem. Do exactly what it says and refresh the page. Press the triangle button. You'll get a prompt to re-download the file. That's no problem. You can either download it or skip it, whichever one works better for you. Your choice. Just select one or the other with the X button to continue. And when the page comes back up, what you'll find this time is rather than a fail, you'll see a success. Now you can navigate back to the center of the screen to install HEN with the pointer and select it with the X button to continue. You'll get a message about JavaScript wanting to close the window. It's an expected behavior. Select OK. Now just press the circle button to close out of Internet Browser and HEN will do its magic from the main XMB of your PlayStation 3. There are two processes it needs to run. Don't interrupt the processes, just let them run to completion. At each stage of the completion, press the circle button. It will take you back out of the first one and automatically start the second one. And at the second one, just press circle to go back to the XMV. Now power off your PlayStation 3 and restart it. When your PlayStation 3 restarts, you'll need to launch HEN for the first time. Go over to the Games tab, come down to Install HEN, and select it with the X button. HEN needs a moment to connect to the mothership to do its thing, and then once it's done, you should see a pop-up notification message in the top right corner indicating that everything went to plan. At this point, you're on HEN. Let's take a look at how to install that content manager because it's going to add tremendous value to your experience. Come down one listing in the menu and you'll see Package Manager. Select it with the X button. In the list of menu choices, you'll see one that says Install Package Files. Select that one with the X button to continue. And from here, scroll down in the list of choices, then select Standard with the X button. From here, you'll see the Content Manager package file. Select it with the X button to install it. Once the installation process is complete, press the Circle button to go back to the cross media bar on your PlayStation 3. Then press down in the menu settings, and you'll see MMCM Multiman Content Manager. Select it with the X button to launch it for the first time. It has some basic setup functions to take care of, which should take less than a minute. When you see the Multiman logo come up on screen, you'll know that everything is installed correctly and that Multiman has been launched. From here, why not learn how to do additional tasks with Multiman, like copying your games over directly to Multiman so that you can play them on your PlayStation 3 right off your hard drive, no disk required. Check out this video here, shown on screen and linked in the pinned comments and description below to find out how that's done.